Hello, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are going to look at four Harry Potter related subscription boxes. We're not gonna compare them necessarily, but I did want to open each one individually to help you decide which subscription box you would like to subscribe to. We're going to be looking at Loot Crate, High Street Owl Post, Wizard's Vault, and Geek Gear. Again, this isn't gonna be a comparison. I will give my honest opinion on each individual box and then let you decide which one you may like to subscribe to. So we're gonna start with Loot Crate. Now I do want to mention that I just found out that Loot Crate has gone into bankruptcy. So I don't even know if they're accepting new orders and honestly, at the moment, you probably shouldn't subscribe to Loot Crate until they have everything sorted out. But I did have this box and I have another box I need to open up. So I wanted to add Loot Crate to this unboxing video. So this is actually an odd shaped box for Loot Crate. This is also an older month. I haven't gotten around to unboxing yet. Uh, it is the Wizarding World Crate powered by Loot Crate. And let's pop this baby open. It's a big reveal, dun dun dun. Now, one thing that Loot Crate has that the other boxes that I'm going to show don't have, they have beautiful boxes. Loot Crate has incredible interior boxes that you can kind of unfold and then refold inside out and display them. I'll let you guys take a peek on the inside and let's start with uh, what looks like a mug and it is a Kelpie mug. Oh, it's clear too, it's a clear mug. Oh, this is actually really cool, look at this. This is a cool, uh, kind of cool. It's, um, it's, it's, it's a little cheap. Actually, it's very cheap. And the printing of the Kelpie, like you almost don't even know what it is. It just looks like green seaweed. And it looks like it's just like a stick on Kelpie. And it's actually a little dirty too. It's, this almost looks like it's been used. There's fingerprints on the inside. So this is a cheaply made dirty mug and honestly might just, get rid of it. All right, we have a shirt. It's a Crimes of Grindelwald shirt based on the tag. And what is it? You can see Nagini's head profile and then the snake kind of slithering down from her brain into her throat. This would actually be a good like dark arts shirt to wear if you go to some sort of dark event, even though Nagini isn't necessarily an evil person in Crimes of Grindelwald, but an interesting shirt. Now I do want to say that I canceled my subscription to Loot Crate actually right before they filed for bankruptcy. So I was one of the lucky ones. I've heard stories about people not receiving their boxes and but I did cancel my subscription one reason was because I have a stack of subscription boxes that still need to be opened and filmed and two because the quality of the product just was kind of going downhill the one thing that I do love about Loot Crate boxes are their pins and I see a pin right here and it's a Madagot and it's outlined in gold cool pin I like it. I never thought I would be a pin person, but actually got into pin trading at Disney World and have since then become a fan of pins. I don't wear them, but I like to collect them. Next up is a packet of like squishy nifflers and they're just little squishy baby nifflers. I don't know what, oh, oh my gosh, they smell. They smell like fruit. Are they supposed to smell like fruit? I've seen these squishy things before, but Wow, I'm obsessed with smelling these. I don't know what I would do with them, but they smell great. I'm gonna be really embarrassed if they're not supposed to smell and they just smell like something gross and chemically and I'm like loving it. It looks like the last item is a metal French ministry print. This is kind of cool actually. Looks like a well printed metal print, the French Ministry of Magic on it. And then it has screw holes so that you can screw it to the wall or screw it to a plaque or something. And then on the information card we have, Celebrate the small screen release of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, which is the DVD, with a crate sure to please the beast within. We have the tin sign, so the French Ministry tin sign, the Maledictus t-shirt, Kelpie tempered glass mug, baby Niffler squishy stress toy set, um, I guess the smell of strawberry is supposed to help with stress, and the Madagot pin. On the inside of the box it shows Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them book that Newt's Commander writes. Next on the stack is the High Street Owl Post box. This is the first time I've opened a High Street Owl Post box on the Potter Collector channel. I have opened one on Instagram. I do want to mention that High Street Owl Post sent me this box, but all opinions will be my own. 
Now, what I remember from the Instagram unboxing was a lot of handmade DIY sort of items. On the inside, we see a lot of sparkle and we have this packing material. This is cool. This actually, we just, we just made these. No, these are actually replicas that they made. I thought that this was the ministry memo from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter that you can buy in that package. If you didn't see my Universal Studios Wizarding World of Harry Potter haul video, you can check that out. I opened up something very similar to this, but this actually looks more official. This is a better replica. The tip is gold foiled. I wonder if there's anything on the inside. I almost feel bad opening it up. There is something on the memo. It says to Arthur Weasley, misuse of Muggle Artifacts Department from Magical Law Enforcement Department regarding third shrieking door key reported this week. Please investigate immediately. This is getting rid Ridiculous. Check out the inside of the memo here. And then it says confidential on the back. Very cool replica, well-made replica. Next we have Peruvian instant darkness powder. And we know this from Half-Blood Prince, Peruvian instant darkness powder. There's something on the inside. Okay, let's see. Is this a bath bomb? It is, it's a bath bomb. Tea tree oil and eucalyptus by Love Good bath potions. I don't take baths, I take showers. Baths make me overheat, but it does smell good and that's very cool. All right, let's see what's next. We have Skyving Snack Box Puking Pastils and, oh, it does open just like M&Ms, uh, but they're puking pastels. So be careful, make sure you're next to a toilet or something so you can vomit into it. Um, but very cool, this is a fun item to put up top with, uh, with my potion bottles. Next up we have Molly's Baking in a tin. I'm Assuming this is gonna be a candle. It smells like a fruitcake. And there are two blackberries and some cherries on top. It almost smells like a lemon poppy seed cake or something. All right, let's see what else is in here. There's something cardboard. Oh, there's a lot more stuff under here. There's something in the cardboard. I'm assuming yes. Let's open it up. It's a Norwegian Ridgeback print from what looks like a textbook. Look at that Norwegian Ridgeback print. That's really, really cool. All right, let's take a look at the shirt. This is a Curse Breaker shirt. So from the Bank of Gringotts, Fortius Quo Fidelius in Diagon Alley. This is a well-designed shirt. It would probably look better in gray, but black is a good second choice. It's not something I would necessarily wear, but a very cool shirt. We have a bookmark. Anything's possible if you've got enough nerve. Sounds like something that Hermione would say. And I don't remember that quote from the books, but it probably is. And then it has a broomstick on the bottom of the bookmark. We have the key to the shrinking door, which was confiscated. It says Honorary Weasley on it. And this key goes with the Ministry of Magic memo. That's very clever of them to, to kind of tie two items together. We have a Chudley Cannons coaster. That's cool. We don't see a lot of Chudley Cannons merchandise. And I don't know what the pin is, but I'm gonna read the back. We're improving it. The badge now reads, Big Head Boy. Look at that. This is the Percy Weasley's Bewitched Head Boy pin. So that's an awesome idea. They took the Head Boy pin and changed it to Big Head Boy, making fun of Percy Weasley. All right, the information card shows us that this is a Weasley themed box. I actually didn't put two and two together, I should have. But one of these items represents each of the Weasleys. So the memo goes to Arthur Weasley, the cake and berries, homemade candle, Molly Weasley, Gringotts Curse Breaker t-shirt, duh, it's Bill Weasley. Charlie, of course, is the print for the Norwegian Ridgeback. Percy, the big head boy pin. Fred, the puking pastils. Peruvian instant darkness bath bomb is for George. Charlie Cannon's coaster, of course, is Ron. Anything possible if you've got enough nerve. Bookmark is for Ginny. And the honorary Weasley, house colored honorary Weasley keychain strap. There were definitely a lot of items in this box. A lot more than I remembered from when I did this unboxing on Instagram. Okay, next up is Geek Gear. This, I believe, is the March Geek Gear box. I am very behind on Geek Gear unboxings. There are one, two, three, four more boxes to open. Geek Gear Wizardry box, handmade with love. What do we have here? It's a very colorful shirt. It's like some dirt on it or something. Oh, it's a chocolate frog card print on the front. I almost still don't see the frog. I see its legs, but like I don't see its face. But a very cool design shirt, very bright, very colorful, and on a plain white shirt. 
Next up is Packed with Love and Care by, I'm not gonna say who packed it because something opened up inside here and I don't want said person to get in trouble. Probably just a mistake, but it looks like Geek Gear is now sending little cards with a picture and the name of the person who packed your particular box. We have, maybe this is the culprit, a chocolate frog in a very interesting box. It's four little individual chocolate frogs. It's not sealed. I wouldn't personally eat this because it's not sealed. And here is the box. All right, next up is a magical potted creature. So this has to be a mandrake. Whenever this plant is unearthed, it screams. Yeah, it's a mandrake. So let's check it out. Here is this mandrake. Uh, that kind of looks like Bigfoot. I've opened a few mandrakes before, and I have to say that this is the the worst of them. This is my least favorite. What's next? We have Professor's Sherbert Lemons. Please be sealed. They are sealed. Very cool. So these are some Sherbert Lemons that have been... Oh, okay. Um, these are some Sherbert Lemons that are open and crushed. Um, so, okay. <laughs> Premium quality tea strainer. It's a nice item to have. It's like a jeweled tea strainer. Strainer. There's an owl on it. So that's cool. So a tea strainer. I'm assuming there's some tea in here Maybe that's the dirt that's swimming around in here. So we've got a tea strainer and we do have tea But it's oh it is open at the bottom. No, it's not. So what is all this dirt in here? It's definitely tea, um, but we have divination tea, which is black tea lavender cornflower petals and bergamot oil So it's an Earl Grey with lavender infusion and it gives brewing instructions and you can put it in your tea strainer we have a print. Oh, fun. It's a chocolate frog print. And it looks like it's signed by the artist. I've actually seen this before on Instagram. Someone else posted this, but I wasn't sure what it was from. But here is a chocolate frog print, and it is signed by the artist. And I'm sure that we will find out who the artist is when we check out the information card. Let's pull the rest of this stuff out. Yeah, so that's clearly tea down in there. I don't know where it came from, but it's in there. Okay, we have a Geek Gear scratch card. So scratch and win. I don't know what you win, but we're gonna use our wand and we're gonna scratch it off. And we won 20% off our next renewal. So this is really just a coupon. Maybe a few of them you do win a free subscription box or something. Then we have some information cards about future boxes. We have this Slytherin print, which says ambition, pride, and cunning, the traits of a Slytherin some of the traits of a Slytherin, I should say. And then it has this snake. And the information card, there's a little note that says, whoops, we forgot to put this beautiful signed artwork by Paul Toner on our leaflet. We do apologize. So that must be the artist. All right, so for March, exclusive Magical Sweets t-shirt, exclusive Divination tea, exclusive House tea strainer, exclusive Potted Plant figure, exclusive Chocolate Frogs, exclusive Professor's Sherbert Lemon, exclusive Exclusive licensed Hogwarts house print, which was designed by Pyramid International. And then the chocolate frog print is by Paul Toner. And Paul has signed the print. All right, last up is the Wizard's Vault by Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes. And this is the first time that I am opening one of these ever. And I do want to say that Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes did send me this box, but all opinions are my own. The box is very detailed. It's the most detailed all of all of the boxes that we have opened today. We have a bunch of different Harry Potter related things. A sorting hat, a snitch, Loomis, uh, Luna's glasses, Spectro Specs. Um, we have the Deathly Hollow symbol. They're, they're all over the place. Let's pop this open. This is also very heavy, so there must be something in here. There are some papers and leaflets. Welcome all first years to the inaugural Wizard Vault shipment. Oh, it's this is the very first shipment. We hope you love it. So then this other thing says, we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. And it has a little picture of an owl on there. Looks like a bag or something. Platform nine and three quarters hat. Oh, this is an officially licensed item too. Wow, that's cool. So platform nine and three quarters cap. It is a back mesh hat. I don't know what you're supposed to call them, but keeps your head nice and cool and then keeps your forehead out of the sun. There's a bag, look at this. What? 
the heck is this box? There's this giant travel bag, officially Harry Potter licensed. It has a strap and compartments. It has the Hogwarts crest on the front. Then on the side, it has Harry Potter's initials. On this side, it has platform nine and three quarters stamped on it. And then the luggage tag says platform nine and three quarters, the Hogwarts Express. This came out of a subscription box? I'm <laughs> really impressed. This is a big bag too. Okay, we see you bibbity bobbity boxes. We have a Hogwarts tumbler. I think you can buy this at Wizarding World, I'm pretty sure. This is the Hogwarts alumni brand. So it has Hogwarts alumni on the side, and then on the other side has the Hogwarts crest. So Tervis is the brand, and it keeps your drinks eight hours hot or 24 hours cold. So we've got our hat for travel, we've got our bag for travel, we've got our beverage for travel, and looks like the last item in here is a chocolate wand. Again, from I think Wizarding World of Harry, it is, it's from Wizarding World of Harry Potter. What on earth, this is crazy. So a dark chocolate wand, whose wand is this? It looks like no one's wand. It actually looks like Harry's original wand from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. Very cool, and these were $7.95. Let's look at this information sheet. So Harry Potter trunk inspired luggage, retail price $75. Stainless steel tumbler, retail price $30. Platform nine and three quarters hat, retail price $18. And the Honey Duke's Sweet Shop dark chocolate wand is $7.95. So that is $131 worth of retail priced items for an $89 box. I would say that's a pretty good deal. Now this is absolutely the most expensive box out of these four, but the quality of the price product. I mean, this is really cool. I pulled out my favorite items from the four boxes. From Loot Crate was the Madagot pin. From High Street Outpost was the Ministry of Magic Memo replica. And from Geek Gear was the Chocolate Frog print. And Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes Wizard's Vault was absolutely the bag. That was a lot of fun to feature four different options out there of Wizarding World boxes or subscription boxes that you can choose from. So now it's time for you to decide which you may like to subscribe to. I will link down below information on where to purchase the subscription boxes for yourself. And some of them have provided coupon codes for Potter Collector Community members. If you don't want to subscribe to a specific box but would like some of the items, I know that some of these subscription boxes and services have a, a store where you can purchase individual items and you can also check eBay for a particular item. If you have questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also reach me on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. It may take me a little while to get back to you, but I will do my best to get back to as many comments as possible. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Hi, my name is Maudie. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?